clean the seal housing with alcohol. Place the rotating part of the seal into the counter ring without an O-ring to check that the height of the pins is correct. Make sure that the seal part does not rock more than shown here. Remove the rotating part of the seal. Mount the O-ring on the rotating part of the seal. Place the rotating part of the seal in the seal housing. Check that the pins are in the proper position. Gently press the seal part into place. Clean the flange with alcohol. Clean the counter ring with alcohol. Place the rotating part of the seal into the counter ring without an O-ring to check that the height of pins is correct. Make sure that the seal part does not rock more than shown here. Remove the rotating part of the seal. Mount the O-ring on the rotating part of the seal. Lubricate with water to make it slide easily into place. Place the rotating part of the seal in the counter ring. Check that the pins are in the proper position. Gently press the seal part into place. Check the tension of the spring ring. Place the O-ring on the stationary part of the seal. Lubricate it with water. Place the stationary part of the seal in the flange. Check that the tabs on the stationary drive ring are properly positioned. Gently press the stationary part of the seal into place into the flange. Gently place the shaft into the bearing frame. Be aware that the pin on the bearing frame has to fit with the keyway on the shaft. Gently place the stationary part of the seal onto the shaft. Gently place the seal housing onto the shaft. Continue to position the shaft in the bearing frame. Turn the shaft until the pin in the bearing frame and the keyway on the shaft fit together. Mount the coupling correctly on the pins. Mount the shaft bolt. Tighten the shaft bolt. While checking that the seal and O-rings slide into proper position. Lubricate with water to make the parts slide easily into place. Place the stationary part of the seal into the flange. Check that it is properly positioned on the tabs on the stationary drive ring. Pull the seal housing towards the stationary part of the seal. 
Check the tension of the spring ring. Adjust the placement of the seal housing according to the manual of the agitator. Tighten the pointed screw. Mount the flush connections with thread gaskets. Mount the guards on the lantern. Remove the retainer bolt from the bearing frame. Mount the prevent valve. 